not Iraq, it's not Gaza. These pictures were taken in downtown London. The British Muslim community, which numbers almost 2 million out of a total of 50, has been deliberating since last year's terrorist attacks on Islam's true identity. It turns out most of the Muslims support integration into British society, but like in many other places around the world, the extremists set the tone. Here is one of the examples of how the same extremists see the future in Britain. All of the world belongs to Allah, and we will live according to the Sharia wherever we are. This is a fundamental yeah. belief of the Muslims. You know, if I was to go to the jungle tomorrow, I'm not going to live like the animals. You live here by choice. Do you I not believe in democracy? No, I don't at all. We believe that people must live according to the Sharia. Sooner or later, it will happen, they say. One day the Sharia will be implemented in Britain. It's a matter of time. Whether it comes through our peaceful uh, discussion and debate, whether it comes because the, uh, the Mujahideen will send an army one day, Allah knows. These organizations which support Al-Qaeda speak out in public in the UK, which they are forbidden to do in Arab countries. Using democracy to promote radical Islam in the name of democracy, this is what it sounds like in an open debate at one of the universities. We like to die, and you all like to live. You like to go to your pubs, you like to see your wife and children, good for you. So don't fight the Muslims, and you will be saved. They actually think if you kill children, if you kill women, you would go to heaven. You have no chance in hell. We want to remove this idea that Islam is a religion of peace. Islam is not a religion of peace. Islam in Britain is not in hiding. The hija traditional head cover can be seen on the streets, along with the complete head cover, the burqa, with no feelings of inferiority. The Europeans and British, who expected self-criticism and remorse on the part of the Muslim community, now find a more defensive Islam, outspoken, which also sets off all the warning lights. The British now understand that a battle between two cultures is being waged in their land, a battle which has just begun and has left the confines of the Middle East. This battle is evident on the ground. Here is the largest mosque in Europe, due to be built on the banks of the River Thames. The Britons will from now on hear and see Islam, and, as the extremists promise, they might continue to get hurt. That is unpleasant news, which points to the continuation of a struggle between extremist and reform Islam within those communities, and between the extremists and the Britons themselves. We drink the blood of the enemy, we can face them anywhere. That is Islam and that's jihad. Ooh. And our messenger Muhammad sallallahu he said, Anada yuqul qattal, he said, I laugh when I kill. And he said to his own people, Wallahi, laqad jittukum biddabah. He said, I come to slaughter all of you. So anybody who wants to stand in face of the Muslims, he will face the banner of jihad.